Hi, this is Kerry with Multicopter Warehouse, and today I'm going to show you the new DJI Matrice 210. Now, these are just starting to hit. They're brand spanking new, so I hope you enjoy what you see, and you'll get to see what all comes in this incredible package. If you're doing inspection work, survey work, fire, search and rescue, law enforcement, any of those industrial, commercial type applications, this is probably going to be the machine for you. So as we get it out of the box and we start looking at it, we'll go over some of the different applications and cameras that you can use with the 210. So I'm going to put this on the ground here so I can get to opening it. So inside on the left, we have the single upward gimbal connector so we can mount a camera on top for doing like bridge inspection, things that need to be able to look up, and the external GPS kit. On the other side, let me get that guy out of here, we have the dual downward connector so we can mount two different cameras at a time on the front. And those can be paired so they work in sync with each other or the pilot can operate one while the camera operator offers a different one. Then we have the case. Uh, this is a really nice case. I'm really happy that DJI stepped up with the case on here. It's got wheels. It has a pull-out handle over here, making it really easy to transport. Let's go ahead and crack this guy open. And I turn it around here. There it is. All right, now we got the top off. Really nice locks on here snap into place really nice on here really happy with that design so now i'll turn it back around so we can get it open and there she is the 210. now a couple things to note on here we have the props in the top and the legs are in here. That's why it's such a compact shape, is you pull it out and actually put the legs on. Uh, included in the package here, we've got some TB50 batteries. We got two of those. We got the charger. We have the 7.8 inch Crystal Sky display, the charger, charging hub, the battery for the Crystal Sky, and instead of coming with the standard controller, it comes with the Sendence. So we'll get to that in just a moment. But the copter itself needs to come out. And you can see, there it is, just like so. And we attach the legs onto here. Now we can pull out the Sendence controller and take a look at that. So the Sendence controller has a built-in LCD screen to give you telemetry data. It's got a jog wheel over here, sliders on the left and right, lots of programmable buttons over here, your P, S, and A switch, tilt and pan, so you can do both at the same time, really handy. Now they've moved the record over to this side with the uh, photo shutter over here, autofocus on and off, and the rest of these are programmable. Where the other ones have C1 and C2, this also has C3 and C4. So you can set up a lot of different functionality on it. Coming out of the back, we have USB, HDMI, CAN bus, micro USB, and the SDI connector. So if you're doing live broadcast, you can do the SDI or the HDMI. Uh, this thing feels really 
nice in your hands. Very good quality, and it comes with the mount for the Crystal Sky display already installed. So we'll go ahead and uh, put that guy back in here, and we'll show you how the legs go on. So you just open up the latch, put the legs in, and they're keyed. So once they're in position, they're going to lock. And then we'll go ahead and open the other side here and make sure it's locked in place. And there's the 210. Open up the arms, lock those guys into place. Everything feels so nice, so sturdy. And when you get to the end, when you're turning these, there's kind of a, a click. So you kind of know that they're locked into place. So it feels super, super good. Now on the front, it comes pre-assembled with the single downward facing gimbal. So we can put on a number of different cameras, the X4 and the X5S. If we want to use the Z30 or the XT, we need an adapter. So the, an adapter will go on here for the XT, or you have to use uh, the, the Z30 will just mount right onto it. You can use the down gimbal and the top gimbal together. You can use the down and the FPV together, or you can use the two uh, downward ones together. Any combination of two cameras. So that's an important point. On the back, we have the slots for the battery that just go right in, the release to pop the batteries off. Underneath here, we have access to the different ports that are available, the USB port and a power and one for the uh, uh, other accessories that you might want to put on. Now it does have the frontward facing obstacle avoidance the top sensor as well as the bottom sensor. So very nice machine. So again, if you're doing industrial type work and you need something that's a little more weather sealed, that's got great flight time, the redundancy of the two batteries, this is going to be the machine for you. Now there's the lower end version, the 200, and the main difference is there is you don't have all the ports on the back and you can't use two cameras. You're limited to one camera at a time, just one downward facing. There's no top sensor for that one. The 210 RTK comes with the RTK system that folds up onto here. Now, if you're gonna use the top camera, that's where the GPS kit is gonna come from, or come into play because if you put a top camera on here, you're covering the GPS puck. So then you're gonna add the external GPS unit so that GPS is hanging off the side. Make sure you don't lose connectivity. These motors, much bigger than anything else, uh, besides getting into like an M600, they're much bigger than an Inspire or Inspire 2. Nice big locking clamps and huge props. I get the props out here. 17 inch props. So these things are gonna move quite a bit of air. Now it does have a battery for the Sendence and for the Crystal Sky, they use the same battery. So there's a battery for each and a charging hub that can actually do both batteries. So you're all set to go with the Matrice 210. So this has been Kerry with Multicopter Warehouse. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.